In today's survival challenge, I have to catch bait by hand, and I can't use a rod or a reel. I have to handline fish, and I gotta catch a trout to eat. Let's get started. So my options for bait on this river are probably either gonna be crawfish or a frog. I've got behind me, if you can see, um, a little backwater off of the main river that's right there. Um, this is usually a good spot if I'm gonna find any frogs. We're gonna try down here first. See if maybe we can get a frog again. I have nothing to catch it with. Probably just gonna have to pick up one of these stones from the river and uh, maybe throw it at the frog, see if I get lucky and kill it. And then use some of the meat from a frog leg or something to try to catch a trout. This goes all the way back up pretty far, so I've got a lot of area to cover to try to find a frog back here. I think that's my first goal. I'm gonna first grab a stone though. Maybe like, maybe one of these guys right down here. Something I can throw at the frog. I've got nothing to try to catch it with, so I'm gonna have to try to like, just literally beat it with a stone. I have to have a good throw. I just saw a really small frog hop and he buried himself right down here. Let's see if we can grab him by hand. He thinks he's hiding. I think I got him. Yes, I got him. I got him. Look at that. Little frog. That might be bait right there. Kind of small. But we got him. There we go. Not quite the size I was looking for, but there's definitely meat on him some little leg meat right there that I can use for bait today. I'm gonna keep searching, see if I can find a little bit bigger one, but at least we do have some bait to start. That was pretty fast, I found him pretty quickly. Hopefully I can find something a little bit bigger. I've just started searching. number two. It's a little bit bigger, some nice legs. Definitely gonna be some meat on that. A little more bait. This is good. So I've got my two frogs, which are small, but I'll definitely be able to use as bait. We're gonna go out to the main river now, see if we can supplement our bait with some crayfish. See if we can flip over some rocks and find some crayfish to go along with these guys. And then we're gonna get fishing. Go. That's what I want right there. Maybe a little bit bigger, but in that tail meat right there, that's what I'm looking for. There's good meat in there. I think those chop hopefully will gobble that up. We'll add that to our frog. Another small one, but there's meat enough in that tail to catch a trout. Two for two. All right, final count for right now. I've got two frogs, two tails of crayfish. We're gonna see now if we can turn some of this bait we've caught by hand into some trout that we can eat. Start fishing right out here first. So to catch these fish again, no rod, no reel. I've just got a spool of six pound test line, a little split shot sinker, and a little circle hook. I've baited up with some of that crawdad tail meat, and I got a hand line fish for him. Let's see if we can get any. This is where I plan on starting my fishing. Looks like it's nice and deep, probably gets about seven feet deep. It eddies along right down in here. Probably throw our line in up top and let it drift down.
Look at that. That is a two pound native rainbow trout. That is a beautiful fish. He nailed it right when I was reeling up that piece of crayfish tail. Just nailed it. It took me a while to get him in. That handline fishing is difficult. Guys, we're gonna be eating today. Making our way up the food chain. Guys, how cool is that? We came out here and did exactly what we intended to do. We have no rod, no reel, no bait. Came out here, just forged off the land. Check that out. Beautiful fish. I do have on a scale with me. Let's weigh it up. Register it, 2.08. 2.08 pounds, just a little over two pounds. Just what I thought. What a beautiful native bow. Beautiful fish, that is gonna be really good eating later on. All right, but I'm not done yet. That is a beautiful fish, but I wanna try that frog leg meat now. We scored one on the crawdad meat. Let's try that frog leg meat next, see if we get lucky. So this is how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a small cut right at the base of the head. Right there. I'm also going to cut the feet off. like so I'm gonna take a small pair of pliers grab that skin at the base of the neck that I just cut and that skin just peels right off and that's what we're after right there the meat in those legs so I'm gonna flip the frog over cut right at the base and this one's just so small well, I'll go ahead and just cut right there. I'm not even gonna de-skin it or anything. I'm gonna leave the bones attached. And we're gonna attach that to our circle hook. All right, so wasn't able to get anything up at the dam. Handline fishing in that really fast water is really difficult. A lot more difficult than it looks, but we did get that one rainbow trout. Nice, nice rainbow. That was the goal today, so we achieved it. Let's go ahead and cook it up. Let's get eaten and uh, enjoy our prize. This whole gut sack is just filled. I could feel rocks, pebbles. Look at that. Just that's all, just a bunch of rock. Bunch of rock, little pebbles. Clean out all the guts and all the inside. Look at that. Beautiful meat. It's gonna taste delicious. Take a couple of nice chunks off the side. Let's go ahead and get those cooked up. It's a pretty simple recipe today, starting with some butter. Now we're just gonna set our two pieces in like that. We'll let them cook in that butter. Big old piece of meat right there, look at that. Nice brown glaze of butter on it. Mm. That's really delicious. The challenge today was to come out, find my own bait, catch a fish that could, I could feed myself on using a hand line. No rod, no reel, we accepted and met that challenge today in a big way, in an over two pound way. Mm. If I were out alone and I gave myself two pieces like that, that I just cooked up for a meal, I could get four meals off of that trout. So for about three days, I would say, three or four days, 
of food. That would be big. That would be really big. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Many more like that one to come on my channel. I will see you in the next one.